Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again and as you guys all know that weather cup the great league edition have already started and that is the reason I have to share a team with uh, you guys which I tried out recently which is really really good so yet again I'm back with a bulky team yet with a super coverage in the weather cup meta so the first lead over here is going to be my lantern which is water and electric and can handle uh, water fire rock but it needs coverage against uh, grass types grass types are not allowed in this meta but still there are uh, sneaky grass types like uh, Credily or maybe uh, Aboma Snow and Ludicolo with Razor Leaf so I need to handle those to which uh, I have a kind of a good response to those grass types or maybe ice types as well which is uh, going to be my Credily which is acting as a safe sap in this team so Credily uh, is very very bulky uh, in this meta as well with a very spammy moveset of Bullet Seed, Grass Knot and Stone Edge which is a huge nuke move stone edge that nukes uh, ice uh, fire maybe flying type as well uh, in this meta and it have great coverage with grass knot with for water type so it have a really cool move set to handle all the typings in the meta that does hit for super effective super effective damage so that is the reason i'm using it as a safe swap and since credily and lantern uh, still needs a bit of coverage against hard grass ice uh, ground groundwater typings yes which is going to be those sesame toad or maybe swampert for that is the reason i'm using uh Arachinid over here as a my closure or maybe to counter the grass types that they sneak in so that is the reason i'm using Arachinid. so again with Araquinate, Credily and Lantern, this team is super bulky and yet again super have super coverage on this meta along with the ratings from PV book which is already up there you guys can see. So without more further delay into the introduction, let's quickly jump into the battles and check out how this team performed in Weather Cup. So now moving into the first battle, I pick up a lead against Sesame Toad. So it's a really really hard lead loss because uh, the water and my uh, Thunderbolt are both resisted to which now I'll be safe swapping into my Credily. And the response for Credily is going to be uh, Alolan Shadow uh, Sand Slash over here. And since it's Shadow variant, uh, I am a bit curious over here is that I can uh, win switch advantage over here in this scenario so since I landed the first grass knot they would not expect me to go for the next stone edge over here which I go and I gets it gets nuked out over here the sand slash and now I can I have to uh, they have to come back with this sp toad right now so over here I get switch which is really good for me and they will be going for the earth power and from this kind of range they cannot farm me down with mud shot because mud shots, uh, mud shots over here is neutral and I'm part grass and I'm doing super active damage with the bullet seed. And since uh, I went for the first grass knot, I will be getting the first shield. And now they want to throw their energy onto my credily, which I'm fine with because I want to chip this uh, sesame toad a bit low. That is a that is because I want to come back with my Araquinid and get a hard farm on the Sesame Toad. So whatever comes back, uh, whatever they come back with as a final Pokemon is going to be facing the debuffing move of Bubble Beam which is really really unfortunate for them and the last final Pokemon is going to be the Lantern of their own. So getting Switch Advantage was really really nice for me and bigger part it's not a Lantern, it's going to be a Pass Titan. So getting Switch Advantage was really really uh, like necessary for me so that is the reason I'll be going for back to back bubble beams and as you guys can see uh, now this uh, consecutive uh, like three bubble beams there I will be going for three bubble beams and it will be dropping their attack by three stages and now their stone edge their uh, smackdown are really doing very less damage over here and they did not get enough the knock knockout for the arrow point over here and rather I can went I can go for the next bubble beam as well to which now I will be switching back into my own lantern to get hydro energy and since they are uh, I may be quadruple debuffed so I will be surviving any any move over here so both are registered and it does not really do any damage and they recognizes their feet and top lifts the game over here giving me the win for the first battle ah good game moving into the second battle I pick up a lead yet again against the shadow abomastone that is running powder snow so 
it is not a recommended move set but still i will be trying to catch a move onto my credily which i feel terribly and they will be coming back with their own lantern for my credily as an answer which is not an answer to credily because surf is neutral and thunderbolt is instead but i will be going for the grass knot that hits hits for a super active super active damage in this scenario and it might get the uh, it might get this huge advantage for me as well so i'll be letting this charge move go through once again and now i'll be going for a bit of extra energy and now i'll be going for the grass knot so grass knot will definitely knock it out if they wouldn't want to shield and yeah they don't want to shield and now it comes back with their own uh up a must run they'll be going for the weather ball so weather ball does take me out but now i've gained myself a uh, switch so i'll be coming back with my era queen and getting the heart farm which is going to be tough because bug bite uh, from a de defense weighted pokemon like era queen is not doing too much damage but they will be going for the neutral weather ball i just shadow variant as well which will hurt and now from this kind of range i think i'll be shielding up this feather ball uh yeah i'll be shielding up this weather ball which unfortunately it could not handle and now they uh comes back with their own steel ice type that is being uh allo and stand slash which is a normal variant right now and after landing the first bubble beam i'll be going for the i'll be coming back with my lantern one once again which is loaded on energy and i'll be going for the first surf so surf gets the first shield from my opponent's end and now from this kind of range i will be building this first charge move go through which ends up being a bulldoze but since it's a debuffed and bulldoze is a crappy move it does not do too much damage to a lantern lantern is pretty bulky and now i'll be outpacing them to the next ice punch a uh, big pardon to the next bulldoze over here with my surf which might get the final shield from my opponent and now from this kind of range they will be trying to save swap in like swap in again there uh, our must know but they got too much greedy so i'll be going for the next surf that does take the our must know out and now i'll be coming back with my own uh, araconite over here that uh, gets hit with a uh, ice punch and it does not even knock it out so araconite is very bulky and it does resist all the ground and ice type moves because of its typing so now for this kind of range they will be again going for a uh, ice punch that i'll be shielding up and i recognize that i can't farm down with bug bite which i do eventually getting me the win for the second battle here as well moving into this battle i pick up a good lead uh, which is neutral uh, not neutral it's a good lead because those powder snows are resisted but i'll i have to look out uh, for the earthquake so since the overformed over here so i'll be going for the first thunderbolt so if it land i am going to shield up and get the farm down so i think they might uh, go for the earthquake which i do shield up and which i am correct with and now they comes back with the erlan sand slash so i so i don't have a uh, very hard response to erlan sand slash as well so i'll be chipping the sand slash over here with neutral surfs which does uh put the sand slash in a farm down range with Uh, from from the air aquarium over here to is now they will be going for bulldoze which is double resisted right now and uh, i think they will be going for one more ice punch which is double resisted once again so all these moves apart from the uh, shadow claw that hits for neutral everything resisted so i'll not shield a thing over here with my air aquarium it can soak up so much damage and i'll be going for the heart farm and uh, yeah i do get the heart farm but just before uh, the fiend they will be reaching to the next ice punch that does not knock me out and let's see what they have into their backline that is going to be frostlass so frostlass i will not uh, appreciate the bubble beams coming in though it's a crappy move but it does have a potential to do, to drop the defense to drop the attack uh, beg your pardon so i'll be going for the back to back three bubble beams over here and these bubble beams are quite adding up because uh, this uh, the frostlass is already already 50% to its health and now i'll be coming back into my lantern over here and cutting the surf through which does get the final shield so big up by the first shield from my opponent's end and now they have to throw so one shadow ball from this kind of range won't uh, be enough to take it out and i don't think they will be able to farm down me with the powder snows over here so i think they have to throw because 
uh, they will be putting up a shield onto this surf and before they could farm down i could reach to the next surf as well which they realize and they went for the next avalanche so avalanche does take me out but now i have a full health cradle over here with a shield advantage which can handle the frost lass because it's very low so either a grass knot or stone edge which would be overkill would be enough to get the win for the third battle over here as well so this bulk going good all al uh, all together with coverage as well moving on in this battle i pick up a lead against bastardon which is a, a bit tough because uh, my araquinet and my credit doesn't want to face this so it's good that i face uh, with lantern but it's a kind of a close matchup over here with lantern because in one to one shield lantern wins uh, this battle but i have to watch out and it's kind of a iv dependent matchup as well what as far as i know so i'll be going for the first surf that gets the first shield and i will be going for the next surf <coughs> that's that lands which i'm happy with because now i have doubled up on my uh, surf over here I, i'm just one turn away one spark away for a double uh, surf over here which i am able to get and now from this kind of range i think they will be letting it go but these shield this time so whatever there is in the pack is kind of weak to a uh, uh, swam uh, lantern over here so that is the reason i thought i could get to the next surf just in time but i die with the move uh, of surf and now i have to come back with my own uh, cradley and get the heart farm onto this bastard and uh, so since uh, Bastion is very very tanky. Uh, I will be getting a bit of extra farm, a huge lot of farm with my uh, Cradley over here. And this the final Pokemon, the the second Pokemon that it comes back with is going to be uh, I forgot this name. It's going to be uh, uh, <laughs> Dragon War Dragon Warrior type, and it's a Kingdra. Yeah, it's Kingdra. Uh, to which now they comes back. in with the final book one which ends up being a sesame toad and they recognize their feet and top left the game over here moving into the next battle i pick up a lead a good lead rather against uh against the araquid over here and now uh to the safe swap they have bought in a recently fluidy colo which is really tough for me because now i have to come back with uh, come in with my own Araquinoid over here, and I'll be getting hit with the energy ball. So though it's resisted, but you guys can see this uh, energy ball and razor leaf does take me out in a zero shield scenario. So now uh, I think I have lost count of this uh, move set over here with Ludicolo because I was hugely like highly frustrated over here because uh, I let the first back to back energy balls go through and. give up a good lead which is not a great scenario and now they comes back in with a cradley over here and uh to a cradley i have my own mirror cradley which is not good because it's a shadow variant as well and they have partial advantage so one grass knot will give uh give them like give the uh, give them the knockout for my own cradley and they have to handle my own lantern with their own credibility and something else once again to which now the safe sap again into their uh, alacrity over here to which i'll be going for the first thunderbolt thunderbolt get this shield from this kind of range which will be hitting hard but i am recognizing their recognizing their win condition like i am sure that i will be losing up this game but i will be trying out still so they ended up shielding the first thunderbolt because they went for the bubble beam and the consecutive thunderbolts would be doing very less damage after the attack debuff to which now they will be again going for the bubble beam which is double resisted right now uh and it barely does any damage so but since my attack is dropped uh, i cannot i cannot farm these araconite down with uh, spark and they have to go for the bubble beam once again which does not knock me out but i now i'll be going for the next uh, surf once again so this surf might get the final shield which uh, which which it does not and it does not even knock out the arachnoid as well which ends up being a good game from my opponent's end and a really well played moving into the final battle of the video over here i pick up a lead against uh, chelicent over here so chelicent though it's a good pick uh, it's a, it's a very uh, versatile pokemon in this uh, like in the overall uh, 
open Great League meta, but since uh, this Weather Cup meta is a bit of grass typing, electric typing, it does not fit well in this uh, Weather Cup. So, to which now they will be going for the first bubble beam pit, to which now I do call the pit and they will be going for the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball does land over here, doing a bit of neutral damage, uh, but Lantern is kind of bulky as well. To which now I'll be going for the next Thunderbolt, which does get the final shield from my opponent's end and now I'll be safe swapping. To which now I come, they come back with their own uh, Toxopex over here which uh, is kind of scary because I don't have a hard resist to a Toxopex as well. But since uh, Toxopex is very defensive and it is uh, very inconsist inconsistent with the moveset of uh, Poison Jab, uh, Brine and Sludge Wave. So I'll be building up a ton of energy with my Cradley over here. Uh, with and I'll be going for the first gra uh, second grass knot second grass knot does not knock it out and to which now I'll be going for the next uh, grass knot but not before they could throw the first uh, second brine uh, or maybe the third brine to which now I got greedy and I over farmed a huge lot of energy to which now I have to, I have to shield up because I don't want this energy to get wasted to which now I'll be going for the first uh, the next grass knot which does ensure the knockout for this uh, for this Toxopix and let's see what they comes back in with. So they comes back in with their, their own attack unit to which I have my Stone Edge loaded. Stone Edge does neutral damage but it hits very hard. Uh, so as you guys can see it uh, puts the attack unit very low and now I have to handle this attack unit of my own with my own attack unit. To which now they save saps again into their own Jellicent, switch back into their own Jellicent and they goes for the neutral Shadow Ball. To which I will be handling the Shadow Ball uh, with my Araquate and now I'll be again switching back into my own Lantern to get the Thunderbolt off that gets the knockout for this Jellicent as well to which now I'll be going for the next serve but they recognize their feet and top lifts the game over here giving the win for the final battle. So as I've already mentioned this team is super bulky yet with super good coverage in this meta for Weather Cup. So if you guys are using this team do let me know how it is working out for you and see you again in the next one. Till then, peace.